My name is Troy Cherry. I was given a project by my boss at work to identify the pros and cons for Gmail, which is operated by Google, and Outlook, which is operated by Microsoft. So we want to basically just get an overview of the pros and cons for the email um, to see what is more beneficial for our company. So I'll start off with the history. Gmail was launched in 2000, April 1st of 2004, offered one gig of storage. Uh, then we'll move on to Outlook, which in 1995 was launched as Hotmail. Microsoft was acquired in 19, uh, which was Outlook, which was acquired in 1997 by Micro, Microsoft, rebranded as MSN Hotmail, then Windows, Live Hotmail, 2013. It was renamed again as Outlook.com, which also offered two megabytes of free storage. So now we're gonna move along to some of the pros for Outlook. And we'll start with the online apps access. So the online apps access, you can easily, you can view, share, and edit MS Office documents using Office web apps. Um, offline email access. Um, with Outlook, there is no such offline access restrictions. Uh, so we'll go to calendar. Uh, well, actually, there's still a little bit more with that. Uh, off, also, Outlook provides offline email access features, which enables you to work on your emails even though the internet is not working or not connected. Um, you can read or respond to your emails offline. As soon as the internet is reestablished, those emails are sent automatically. And so now we'll go to the calendar. Calendar Outlook enables you to schedule um, resources like uh, projectors, uh, conference meetings, uh, conference room, conference or meeting rooms rather by adding them as a resource to your meeting. Uh, the resource then acts like an attendee, like checking the availability for meetings with the availability to auto-respond. Uh, we'll then uh, go down to storage space. So storage space, uh, Outlook provides free unlimited storage space, which means your capacity grows with your inbox. You can attach any file up to 100 megabytes. If you, uh, if you link to SkyDrive, you can even attach up to 300 megabytes. So now we'll go down to security. The security, um, the security for this um, deals with in uh, it offers a two uh, a two factor um, match authentication, uh, where the user um, needs to enter a specific code uh, to be sent to their mobile devices to validate access. Um, Adestetics um, basically it has a has a very clean interface, um, um, has a real nice preview pane. Um, one color to keep things straight, um, and because it's simple and not as cluttered as the competition, I think that's a very good pro for it. Um, it doesn't, um, um, I'm sorry, sorry about that, but now we're going to move along to the Outlook cons. Uh, I only show a couple, which there could be more, but this is what I just reviewed. So we'll have, we'll go with security as one of the cons for them. Um, the security to end-to-end -end, uh, data, Outlook doesn't offer any support. Now for the security, and, uh, excuse me, for security, Outlook does not offer any support. Now for the end the security end-to-end -end data encryption, Outlook doesn't support multiple sign-ins like Google does. So now, uh, like Gmail does rather. So now we're gonna go to the Gmail Pros uh, and we'll go with the Gmail Pros starting with the uh, storage space. Uh, and Gmail comes with 15 gigabytes of free storage. And if you integrate your Google free drive, you can um, add up files up to 10, 10 megabytes. Um, you can also purchase more, uh, more, source, more storage space, which will be available. Um, so then we have security. Uh, security, they also offer the two-factor authentication where the user, once again, needs to enter a specific code to their mobile device to validate their access. Uh, this also um, uh, will help validate who the actual owner of the email address really is. Um, then we'll go down to security end, uh, security end to end data encryptions. Um, you can also go um, in the encryption to make your email more secure. While email, while Gmail offers third party support to enable this, to enable this, basically their preferences are not as well. Excuse me, their preferences are better than Outlooks for this. So that would be the pro for that. And as far as with the um, at aesthetics, um, it's very easy to use. Um, you can customize it, um, customize it with uh, to your preferences. Um, and by default, uh, it doesn't have a lot. Of, 
doesn't have a lot of buttons or different um, things to click or link to. So now we're going to go with the cons for Gmail. We have offline, excuse me, we have online app access, and you can't view, share, and edit MS, um, excuse me, you can't view, share, and edit Microsoft Office documents within Gmail. Um, as far as your, um, your offline email access, um, you can only, only access last month's emails. There's no, um, no internet connection. Also, you can access emails, um, your Gmails, offline on Safari, Google, or Chrome browsers. Um, let's get to the calendar for the cons as well. Um, administering, your meeting, administering your meetings involves multiple processes, like setting up primary and secondary calendars, which can uh, be a bit of a hassle. When you just want to just simply just set it up, click a button, and it's there, ready to go. So now we'll um, lastly click on to um, uh, speak on the storage space. Although they, um, they, they, they do provide 15 gigs of free storage, of free storage it is smaller amount, it's a very smaller amount compared to Outlook. Um, and now we're going to get to the conclusion. And the conclusion, as, as I see it, uh, Gmail versus Outlook, it basically all depends on your, your business need. And I work for a telecommunications company, and I think our, best, our business need would be for Outlook as our email provider. And the reason why I say that is because I think they provide a better, um, better access as far as the storage and the security. They basically range in the same as far as the security, but overall, I think that Outlook would be better for our business due to the security factors. And that's where I think, it, that's where I think we go. Okay, thank you.